After Cuba, the largest country in the Caribbean is the Dominican Republic, which is home to 10 million people. The country is the final resting place of Christopher Columbus, who discovered the island in 1492. Home to the oldest European settlement in the New World, the history of the Dominican Republic has been a turbulent one, with both Spain and France laying claim to the island pre- and post-independence in 1844. Due to this instability and wanting to protect their interests in the region, the United States imposed a military government in 1916 that governed here until 1924. The U.S. Marines that landed in the capital, Santo Domingo, brought with them the sport of boxing. The noble art has subsequently enjoyed huge popularity in the country. The first time he told me he wanted to be a boxer was when he was six years old. He said, Mummy, I'm going to train to be a boxer. A trainer wants to take me on and teach me. I said, no, you can't go, because I didn't know where it was. But he went anyway without telling me, and when he got back, I gave him a good smack. It was a real lack of respect. I was scared. Sometimes we'd watch fights on the TV, and he'd say to me, that's going to be Juan Carlos Piano one day when I grow up. And I just see all the blood and say, oh no, don't say things like that. And I would tell him that I couldn't stand it that I couldn't watch it. Then one day he said, Mummy, I want to be a champion so I can buy a house with two floors. I didn't know what to do, but a friend of mine said, let him do what he wants. And it made me think, and I decided, fine, leave him to it, and now look where he is. Meet Juana Pichardo's son, Juan Carlos Payano, one of his country's brightest boxing prospects. He's a two-time Pan American Games silver medalist and was champion at the Central American and Caribbean Games in 2006. 23-year-old Payano will represent his country at the Beijing Olympics. The flyweight competed at the Games in Athens, where he was the only Dominican fighter to win a bout. So far in his career, he's racked up over 400 wins against some of the world's best amateurs, such as Francis Jérôme Thomas, Cuba's Yuandri Salinas, and the Arroyo brothers from Puerto Rico. Juan Neiman is vice president of the Dominican Boxing Federation. We've known Juan Carlos Payano ever since he started his career as a boxer. He's one of those kids who, from the very beginning of his career, had an incredible desire to win. He's a very smart kid with a very clear objective, which is to get to the top of the boxing world. For the Dominican Republic and for us at the Federation, he's our biggest hope to do well at the Olympics. My hope for the Olympic Games is that I win a medal. I'm in good shape and I've had Olympic experience before. This will be my second time at the Olympics. After the Olympics, my ambition is to turn professional and become a world champion. But first, I have to fulfill my current goal, which is to win an Olympic medal. So I'm working towards that, and the faith that everyone has in me motivates me even more to achieve it. The Dominican Republic has a rich boxing history, having produced numerous world champions, including current WBO super featherweight champ Juan Guzman. The first ever Olympic medal came via the sweet science. At the 1984 Games in Los Angeles, Pedro Nolasco won bronze in the bantamweight division. Yet although the country has since won gold, courtesy of 400-meter hurdler Felix Sanchez, that bronze remains their only Olympic boxing medal. I think that it's a very important time for us. At the moment, with the help of government funding, we're training for the Olympic Games in Beijing, China, and we're putting a lot of effort into our preparation. Boxing in the Dominican Republic is really moving forward. 
We have a federation that looks out for us, and we've been provided with everything we need, the right food, everything to keep progressing. And in Juan Carlos Payano, we have a real chance of winning a medal. Juan Carlos hails from La Vega, a city in the center of the country, around 160 kilometers from Santo Domingo. His success in the ring has made him the face of amateur boxing in his homeland, and many in the country believe that it's only a matter of time before he makes an impact on the professional scene. We're placing all our hopes on Juan Carlos Payano. We think he's going to win an Olympic medal. We're starting from the premise that he's not only one of the best boxers on the continent, but that he's also capable of mixing it with the very best in the world. Regardless of the pressure on him to succeed in the sport, Payano is aware that without boxing, his life could have turned out very differently. Boxing has changed me as a person, and if I hadn't started boxing, I would have grown up to be a different type of person. Coming from a poor neighborhood, my family and I lived on very little money. And in these kinds of neighborhoods, there are always people who don't mix well with others. Perhaps without boxing, I would have turned out to be one of those undesirables of society. Boxing's helped me find my place in society. I get an enormous amount of respect from people, and I have boxing to thank for giving me such a standing within the community. Olympic gold would set up Juan Carlos perfectly for a move to the pros. It would also see him go down in history as one of his country's sporting greats.